uh, from the U.S. side, Patrick Ocentillo, who is uh, the consular for uh, U.S. affairs, uh, and he's from the U.S. Embassy in New Delhi. Um, I, Patrick is one of the U.S. experts um, you know, uh, in, in the area of foreign markets. Uh, he's also on the FDI area, uh, foreign direct investment, um, and, then, uh, and is very engaged in understanding how to promote trade between uh, U.S. and India. Uh, I'd like to welcome uh, uh, Patrick Cosento. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you and good afternoon. It's wonderful to be here and wonderful to see all of you here with us this afternoon. Uh, Mr. Pillai and the Indian Smart Grid Forum team, we'd like to thank you for organizing the conference and of course allowing us to also stage the workshop today. I think this is a great opportunity for information exchange. I know that Joint Secretary Aurora will be with us uh, hopefully momentarily. Uh, I know she got caught up in some traffic, but we do expect her, and we certainly appreciate her willingness to co-chair uh, the workshop with us today, as well as the support we received from the DIPP. So thank you all for that, and certainly to our co-moderators. Looking forward to a very vibrant conversation, so I think your decision to hold off on the PowerPoints, especially this session after lunch, is a very good idea. So we'll look forward to a vibrant conversation about that. I think with the few minutes that I have with you today, I would just like to share three universal truths about these kinds of workshops and what we bring to them and what we get out of them. The first is that we know very clearly that all of you are very busy. We know that you have choices of where to spend your time. So we really do appreciate you coming and spending a couple of hours with us this afternoon. To our Indian guests, we certainly hope you find the session productive and informative. To our U.S. guests, we thank you for coming all the way from the United States, sharing, sharing your expertise and being part of the day. I know we have some third country representatives here as well. I won't name them all, but we certainly welcome you and are delighted to have you as part of this interaction. And certainly, finally, to our panelists, thank you. We're really looking forward to your remarks and to hearing your insights about this important topic. The second universal truth about these kinds of workshops is that they are a wonderful opportunity for us to share information and to really talk about synergies. In the energy world, in the smart grid world, this is not going to happen by any one company or any one government trying to go it alone. It is through that synergy and that cooperation that we are trying to empower here today that we believe the future of energy is bright. Sorry about that. Um, a couple of points that we'd ask you to, to keep in mind as we think about that synergy. First is that the United States and India do have a long-standing relationship built on mutual cooperation in the energy sector. High-level engagement extends across our governments, academic institutions, and the private sectors. I am a generalist by nature. And I have the opportunity, fortunately, in my position to see a number of the different sectors at work between the United States and India. And I have to say, as I look at all of the activities that are ongoing, this energy sector, this smart grid sector, the smart city sector is, to my view, and I've only been here six months, but that's where we draw our first impressions. In my view, this sector is one of the most exciting and one of the most important for us to get right in terms of that collaboration. Of course, the Indian government and the US government seek, seek to scale up next generation technologies to meet their energy needs and improve energy access in rural areas and to serve the urban environment as well. We seek to ensure that balanced energy mix that combines energy efficiency, demand response, and the integration of renewable energy in an economical and sustainable manner. Of course, we strive to improve access to financing and investment for energy projects, for viable energy projects. I'd like to highlight one example of our collaboration and discussions that go on really throughout the year, but they're highlighted uh, in this process of cooperation. Our CEO forum, led by the Tata Group and Honeywell, 
is comprised of chief executive officers from 35 of the leading U.S. and Indian corporations who jointly prepare a set of industry recommendations to be discussed by our respective ministers during the bilateral, the U.S.-India bilateral strategic and commercial dialogue. One of the top recommendations of that CEO forum and through the strategic and commercial dialogue is for us to work together for the joint development of reliable, affordable, and sustainable energy solutions. Indeed, that's a reason why we are here today. And if we talk about cooperation, let's just think for a moment what's at stake here? What are we up against? What are we, in fact, thinking about as we go through the day and as we engage in this session? Please keep in mind that, as we understand it, by 2040, Globally, there will be electricity generation capacity installed. There will be more. There will be more electricity generation capacity installed than all of what exists today. Indeed, 97% of those installations will be in non-OECD countries. We know that over the past year, investment in smart technologies jumped almost 30% globally to over 41 billion, 41 billion in 2016, and 11 billion, that's dollars, US dollars, 11 billion dollars of that, in fact, was in the United States. So although these smart grid technologies are being adopted at what we believe to be a rapid pace in the United States, we know collectively that the technology is still new and that lessons are being learned every day in every corner of the world. Today's conference offers us all a wonderful opportunity for sharing best practices and for helping each other figure out how to overcome the challenges, both regulatory and technical. And I will say that as we look at this conference, in particular as we look at this workshop, we do see that it's a terrific opportunity for us as the U.S. to share some of our insights and for us to learn from our Indian friends that are in the room. And again, that's part of why we made it so interactive and are hoping to have it be interactive for that information exchange. We believe that together with India, we are fellow travelers and have many of the common objectives that we are all seeking today. It brings me to the third universal truth for any of those of you who were still keeping track. We plowed through two of them. There is one more. And the third universal truth is really the easiest one and may very well be the most true, which is that, in fact, I know that none of you signed up for this workshop to come here and hear me talk. So the sooner I get off the, the microphone, the sooner we can bring up the panel and really get on with the business of business, which is what we are here to talk about, the business of smart grid, smart cities, and the work that we can do together. I wish you a very successful afternoon, and I am really looking forward to hearing the discussions and being part of this workshop. Thank you all again very much for coming.